but I'm about to go tour the um, the magnificent town of Otogoville. See what make Otogoville so special. And I mean special. This is a hidden gem. And this right here is the town wheel. It's an artesian wheel as well. The town, the first town wheel is artesian water. I first thought we we're gonna go look at one of Otogoville's oldest artesian wells. My mother is 82 years old. She used to always tell us about this well is extremely old. When she was a little girl going to school, it, the well was there. It always was an artesian well at this, at this location. <clears throat> and and it's, it's amazing that when we was coming up, you know, we didn't want to drink for, from it. It was good water, but if somebody caught you at, caught you at the artesian well, you know, it was like something they shame you on. They were like, oh, I've seen you at the artesian well, well that means that y'all ain't got water at home or something wrong with y'all water at home. And it was just kind of, kind of ironic. And now it's a, it's almost like a monument in the town. There's a new, bigger water bottle plant here now. The water tastes that good? I don't know, let's find out. Hold up. You can't get the minerals that you want. You ask does the water taste that good? Put that cup down. This new one? Put that cup down. No, it ain't the new one, that's the only one. Oh, this is the only one? That's the only one. This water good. Water good. This is my second time drinking water since I've been in North Dallas. And I was coming to drink that water. But this water good. It's just a little cold for these fake tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Number most. It's filtering that water. Yeah, it's filtering number most. I stood out here one day so so thirsty and drunk it, I could have swore I was drinking Kool-Aid. <laughs> but before you guys go back, mm -hmm. please stop at one of the local Win Dixie. You got Win Dixie in Prattville? Mm -hmm. Man, take some water back with you. It's in there. Okay. It's in there. It's in there. Win Dixie, food outlet, take some water back with you, man. Support your people. I'm so, I promise I will. I Support your I people. Because I got a couple of milk jugs that I was finna come get this. Man, water. take the water back in a bottle, bro. Okay. Take it back in a bottle and say, hey, look us up on Instagram and Facebook. Say, these are my people. These are my people. These are my people. This is my place. This is my water. I promise I will. I promise I will. Because everybody I tell up there, they'll be like, we're gonna go get some water. Now, this is water down south that never stopped running. Yep. And we got an artesian wheel on site. Never stop worrying. My mother used to drink from this water. I got you. Mine did too. We all did. And my grandmama, who died at 98, how about 89? Yeah. Passed at 89, drinking that water. Can't beat it. But then when we get here, this is, this is it. This is what you came all the way from Ohio for this. No, I come to hug my people, but I... I tell you, you know this. Before, before I go see my people, I come here. I come right here to this water. And then I reminisce on the walk from there, the walk from there. I might shed a tear to people that ain't here. Then I go and have fun with my family. That's but good stuff. It's beautiful. Otogaville is known for good living because of the recreation aspect of it. A lot of fishing, a lot of hunting, just a lot of slow living. So what I'm taking you guys to now, this is called Swift Creek. I want you guys to take a look at this. This is a, a recreation paradise for fishermen. And um, I'm gonna show you guys a little surprise while we are here. We are here at Swift Creek Park, which is a part of the Alabama River Lake System, which forms a lake body that dumps into the Alabama River, and we'll get to see it more often. But you'll see here that um, all walks of life enjoy this river basin because it's the land of good living, good fishing, 
it's a sportsman paradise. With that being said, in a target wheel, you're never without water. Hey, come on, follow me. Check this out. I present to you a old timer. That's what we call it, old timer. I just may have just gave it a name, but this is an old timer. Check this out. None stop. 24-7, 365 days a year. Check it out. Something straight out of a movie, isn't it? That's if you want to feel by hand, but check this out. Look at this feature on it. You want to feel a five gallon bucket. Or a larger jug. Even got a pump action on it, but you're, it's not needed. It's disengaged because the water free flows. It's artesian water. We didn't know what we had. They came out and tested the water twice. They have been testing water for 35 years. And our water tests 10 times better than anything else they had on file. And so they said, this water is number one, this is liquid gold. My name is Marquise Forge, and I am the co-founder and CEO of 1186 Real Artesian Water. section of Otago Street and Highway 14. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting for traffic to clear. And God speaks to me right here at this point, right here. I'm waiting to go left <clears throat> and go to my mother house. God speaks to me right here. This is how 1186 started right here at this intersection. He said, go see Mr. Ward. Now you guys got to understand, Mr. Ward he was the principal when I was going to school. Mr. Ward eight, was 83 years old at that time, and he was the former mayor of Tallville. Mr. Ward is standing at the back of his steps, and he talks to me for about 30 minutes. And in the process of him talking to me, I was like, Lord, why I'm here? Why? I kid you not. <clears throat> it came to me. Mr. Wood was talking about how bad the town was off. How bad it was. How it needed help. And it hit me. What can I do for a talk with Mr. Wood? How can I help? And he said, Marquise, you can run a water bottling plant. And I said, Mr. Wood, I, I have no interest in that. Mr. Ward said, get in my truck, I want to show you something. And he just began to go on and on by the water bottling plant. During his heydays, it was doing stuff. It was doing things. And I told him I wasn't here during that time, you know, because I, I had been gone since 1997 or 1995. And I, I didn't know of, 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 of it being in production. He said, let me get in touch with the gentleman that owned it. The owner was very, very secretive about the, about the facility because he had been through so much. So many people tried to take it away from him. So many people tried to steal it. And he wanted to know what I was going to do. I told him my plan. You know, I, I told him I didn't know anything about water. He said, do you know anything about bottled water? Nope. Nope. Absolutely not, sir. And he said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to show you some things. Teach you some things about bottled water. You call me every day or as often as possible. I want to show you some things about bottled water. So I did just that. Uh, after about three or four months, he told me, he said, hey, there's nothing else I can do for you. Um, I'm going to turn you over to the power attorney. I think you're going to do a great job. I had never been inside the water bottle plant before. Never. Uh, matter of fact, this is it right here. This is the water bottle plant. The old water bottle plant. And I started talking to the power attorney and the conversation went south. The last conversation we had, he told me, if, you, if you're if smart enough, if you think you're smart as what you say you are, or what they say you are, why don't you build one? And he hung up on me. I didn't know what to do. I felt foolish. And I was at home one night. I had all my paperwork scrolled about in my home office. And I was praying to God. I said, God, you know, I, I, I have, I've been made a fool of. I can't build no water bottle and plant. And I kid you not, I had four, four inch binders that I had paperwork in from research, learning, and all kind of stuff I had. Those books lit up like a shrine. And I picked up the first one, volume one, and I started turning through it. And I kid you not, it was like a manuscript. All that work I had been doing was like a manuscript. I came to my partners, I called them, and I told them. I said, hey guys, we're gonna build a water bottle plant. They all laughed at me. They were like, man, that's crazy. We don't know nothing about no water bottle plant. I said, I know, but God just showed me what we can do. I said, go with me, please. They said, okay, Marquise, we trust you. So we're gonna go with you. I present to you M Ray Industries, LLC. In this video, we're going to highlight and capture our bottling process, the distribution process, and the public response to 1186 Real Artesian Water. First, let us go inside and show you our bottling process. My name is LaToya Hall and I am the brand manager. I'm in connect with all of the brand ambassadors um, for 1186. So we get a lot of people telling us that we're filling the bottles with water hoses, um, just a lot of different things. Um, that's not what we're doing here at 1186. The water does actually come from an aquifer underground. So I would love to give the people the tour to actually see how the water bottling process actually goes. We went out and made sure we got the best equipment to harvest this water. And when I mean the best, I mean automated, and we don't want to touch it. We want the water to stay in its natural, pure, God-driven God case, because when you drink that bottle of water, you're the first person to touch that water. My name is Kelvin Brickhouse, and I'm the COO of 1186. We always knew the water was here. When we did our survey and um, bought the land, we had our um, well digger come dig the well, where he found out, you know, that it's some of the period of water on earth. So once we found that out, we knew we had something. We didn't know what we had. Got the water tested. And after the test report came back, <clears throat> we had a private layup there in Alabama that test a lot of different water across the Southeast. They came out and tested the water twice because they couldn't believe the results of the first time. And 
what was so amazing about it, they said that the water that they pulled out of our well should not have been of that purity. They have been testing water for 35 years on a private and municipality status. And our water tests 10 times better from a raw standpoint, straight out of the well than anything else they had on file. And so they said, this water is number one, this is liquid gold. Well digger and our geologists, they told us that it would come back a um, hundred milligram of parts per milligram. It came back eight. He says he's never seen that eight parts per million from a newly dug well water. You don't have to do anything. You can fill it from the well itself. You don't have to you don't have to do anything to it. No filtering, no anything. This is this is phenomenal. We're all natural. We don't have no chemicals. When you open that bottle and drink it, that's the first human being to touch that water. We have over 100 trillion gallons in an aquifer. They told us that we can run our well 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for the next 136 years if it never rains again. So every time it rains, it replenishes it. So we have enough water for to do what we need to do. It'll be water flowing after I'm gone. Well, I always knew that Otagaville had good water and never thought that this would be here. When I tried the water, I was like, yes, this is home. I'm gonna be honest with you. The water is so smooth. I'm not just saying this. It's so smooth and refreshing. A lot of water, you can't drink at room temperature. The water comes out of the well between 48 and 50 degrees year round. I don't care how hot it is outside, I don't care how cold it is, water gonna be the same temperature. We had many people come to the plants, I show them the well, and we could pull water out of the well, empty the bottle out, pull water straight out of the well. And they was like, wow, the water even tastes, it's, it's cold, it's refreshing. The water delivers quality on a level like no other. 1186 is a representation of water that many people, I'm gonna put it as most people has never tasted before. And once you taste it, it is an addicting agent within the water. And that, and that agent that's in the water that become addicted is that clean, high quality taste. Because people say water is water. But once you taste this and compare it to any, put it by, match it up to anyone. Once you compare the taste, you immediately, you distinguish it and separate it between everybody else. That's what makes 1186 so popular. I'm Eric Taylor and I am a family nurse practitioner. I'm the CEO of Priority Mail LLC, where men's health is the priority. I focus in, on men's health. From what I do medically, I know that we can't you know, live without water. And he had a great uh, opportunity there in the town that we're from uh, to bring a product that was a quality product that would revitalize the area and also be a great product that people could consume that would be good for their health overall. So I pulled my phone up and I said, I ain't gonna say it in the app name. App, how many chapters in the Bible? The app said 1,186. And I said, 1186. Cause I look at numbers like that. Had a meeting the next day with the, with the team. I said, hey, hey guys, I got it. And everybody was like, okay. I said, 1186. And they was like, oh wow, that's neat. And, um, Calvin Brickhouse, our COO, he said, so is it 1186? How do you want to write it? I said, yeah, just 1186. And they all, they all kind of complained. They said, somebody may say 1186. <clears throat> or somebody may say something else. I was like, nobody don't talk like that anymore. So the group came up, Calvin came up with the idea that let's spell out 11. And 1186 was born. 1186 is uh, confined in an aquifer that has been preserved for thousands of years. And no one can filter water better than Mother Nature. 
Uh, the pH of the water is ideal for, con for consumption, uh, for the internal functions of our bodily organs, uh, and it, it hits different than most of the waters out there on the market. I'm not going to name drop and, and compare it, but I dare you as a consumer to try the water and compare it to what you're currently drinking. Um, but the pH is uh, right there in the middle and the, there's no additives, there's no preservatives, the, the bottle is BPA free, I'm sorry, BPA free, um, and it's just an overall great quality product that is filtered by a bedrock limestone that again, no one can do it better than Mother Nature. Man has created some great filtering products and processes and procedures, but no one can do it better than Mother Nature. Hey guys, it's me again. Hey, I wanna show you guys what it takes for 1186 to go from Otagoville to Houston. We're gonna be going from Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, to Texas, into Houston. I just wanna show you guys what it takes. So come on and ride with me. Let's make this happen. Well, you know, um, Houston like a second home for us. So I um, just wanna show show the world what it takes to go to Houston. I also want to show the world, you know, um, that it's a blessing to be in Houston and to have a family in Houston that loves the water, loves 1186 Real Artesian Water. And just want to showcase, I want to give gratitude to the customers, to the retailers, to the on-premise accounts, you know, just to our fans. And man, especially like a lot of the people that support us, we got so many people that support us. They are they are dedicated to the to the brand. That's all they drink. That's all they family drinks. They talk about the water. They follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and you know that's what makes the heartbeat of our company. So the only thing I can do is say thank you because you know I, I'm I don't deserve it. Uh, I'm just a steward doing God's will. So I just want to show people what it takes. Going to Texas, which is the number two water bottle and consumption state, the great state of Texas is accepting us as one of their own. And um, I want to show everybody what it's about. the business of 1186 Real Artesian Water and our plans and hopes for a future, especially when we touch down in Houston, Texas. Visiting on-premise accounts from a spa to a bar 
to a barbershop, to a restaurant, the feedback is phenomenal. Like it's halfway gone. It's halfway gone. <laughs> yes, and I don't like the water. You don't like water. So this is what we're talking about. This water right here comes from Alabama. This is a real artesian water. Um, we own the wheel, we own the land, we own the property, we own the machinery. We own the, um, the bottling process, the label. We design the whole bottle. This is all natural. We don't put anything in it. No chemicals, no preservatives, no additives. We don't put anything in it. It comes out of the well. This well got water that's hundreds of thousands of years old and a confined aquifer. It comes out of the well. We pump it into the plant, put it in a bottle. We don't touch it. You're the first person to touch that water in hundreds of thousands of years. That's why it's so clean and refreshed. Yeah, it's, it's some good water. It's some good water. It's some good water. I like the water. It's, it's, it's nice and um, it's smooth. It's good. It's just okay. good. Okay, smooth and good. Smooth and good. They don't have like a little bite with no aftertaste. It's okay. We love carrying your water. It's so good. You know, it's so good. Tell me about yeah. it. Tell me what you feel Man, like to about be honest, it. when I first drank it, it was it felt clean. It felt crisp. You know, it just felt nice. Especially when it's cold, I feel like it's the best water. Like, hey, compared, look, it's, it's we feel the same way. Hell yeah. We feel the same way. <laughs> Country, country good. <laughs> good old country good. Country good. It's country all good. natural. Yeah, I like that. All natural. Oh. Country good. Nice to meet you. We love this water. I am the CEO. Yes. And um, what you love about it? It's it tastes good and it's black. It don't it, it tastes actually tastes good. It actually tastes good. Yes, like it tastes long, pure. It's, it's really this good. This is your first time tasting it or what? Uh -uh, no, we, ha we get it all the time. We were just talking about it this morning and they restocked. So we were like, oh, we got to go grab some more. One of y'all uh, vendors out here, yes. uh, about probably about two weeks ago, okay. uh, me and my friends were standing out here and she gave us a bottle of water. So when I seen the water, I had already knew, you know, because I work for HEB, but um, you guys sent out a rep uh, probably about a year ago and they, uh, they did a, um, he did a, he did a, a distributor of uh, water and he did a sample out in our store in Sugar yeah. Land, um, 627 HEB. Yeah. Um, so I support black owned business always. Anything black owned, I'm going 100% for it. But uh, for the hurricane, you guys, uh, y'all had, you know, y'all just kept, y'all kept the water coming um, and y'all didn't stop. So, you know, we, we displayed you guys through the raceway in Sugar Land and right now, um, we putting you guys, uh, H-E-B, we, we, we want to show you guys off for, uh, for Black History Month. Be the change of mission, huh? Yes, sir. Be the change, be the change of mission. And I got something for you. you what go. is that? Be the change? I got, <laughs> be the change of initiative. <laughs> I got a wristband that said, be the change of initiative. <laughs> look at that, look at that. I'm talking about H-E-B out in the streets with us. Yes, look sir. at that. Man, that's what I'm talking about. I gotta put this yes, on right now. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. But listen, that's, this that's is what you. I'm talking about right here. Um, my name is Holly Townsend, and for 1186, I am the sale district manager for Houston. Um, but I do other where I'm needed. Um, I really don't consider myself needing a title. Most of the times, if somebody asks me, I just say, I'm a facilitator. I make it happen. tell people try can and promise try means I don't know it's probably more of a no than a yes but I'll try can means I can do it but it's gonna get you it's gonna take me a day or two promise me it's already done don't worry about it and when you need it it's already there me myself I go out my team go out and we touch every customer ourselves. When a customer have our water, we want to talk about it. Tell me how many CEOs you see running around in the stores from store to store, driving 10 hours, going from store to store, being up all night long, doing other work to make sure things happening, being in the mix because we do not have that marketing. You have to grind 24-7. Our grassroots marketing and guerrilla marketing is 
social media, and through customers word of mouth. Customers are burning it up. Customers are going to the stores and they wanna make sure that they get the water. They're buying multiple cases at a time. Five cases, 10 cases, 15 cases. They are buying it like it's a hurricane coming through. And that grassroots marketing and being personal with the customer has worked and paid dividends for 1186. We can't say thank you enough to the customer because it resonates with them. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi. Um, I see that you're drinking a um, uh, bottle of water. Seems like you want to be hydrated. Can yes. I offer something else to you? Sure. Okay, so um, we are we have 1186 Real Artesian water here. Uh, thank you for taking out your time. But you know, if you don't mind, take a sip out of it if you don't mind. See what it you see what it seems like. Now? Yeah, drink it now. See what it looked like for you. Okay. See what it looked like for you. And by the way, I'm sorry if I'm taking up your time, but. Uh, It'll be greatly appreciated if you do this for us. Okay, it's okay. Okay, okay. okay. Try it for us. <laughs> mm. Give us your honest opinion. If it's nasty, just say <laughs> it's nasty. I'm a big guy, and you know, I can take it. I'm only ever honest, so you okay. don't even have yeah, to say that. Honest, <laughs> this is really good. You ever heard of 1186 real artesian water before? Now that I see it, I know that I have. Okay. Um, and you know when we started to put our money back in to us i saw it on social media but i could never find it anywhere you couldn't ever find it, it was where you, where you look for it at, at heb you looked at heb yeah. now i do apologize because the water has wings <laughs> it get on the shelf Clearly. and it flies off the shelf this so really good. it's really good so would that be something that would you consider purchasing if I can find it, yes. If you can find it. I tell you what. I tell you Absolutely. what. Absolutely. I apologize for you not being able to find it. So what I'm going to do is, I got a couple cases. I'm going to give you one. I'm going to okay. give you one, and I want to make you addicted to what you have not been able to find. Okay. Miss Brandon right here will okay. give you a case of water. Okay. And this will be my, my deposit on your future purchases, because I know you're going to share it with your family. Absolutely. Now, we're part of the Houston market where we uh, help facilitate local on-site orders and uh, new accounts here in the city of Houston. Um, we do, it's in HEB currently and that's uh, been taken care of, uh, but for, there are some on-site accounts that we need to facilitate and there's a buzz for the water all around the city and not everybody has access to it so we are helping also facilitate that and make sure the brand continues to be consistent across the board and reaching everybody uh, that wants to be a part of the 1186 family and make sure they have access to the product. If you want to drink something that make you feel good and make your body feel good, make your body re react to it in a certain way, you're going to buy 1186. 1186 Real Artesian Water is consumed around the clock. Even the nightlife on-premise account enjoy 1186 Real Artesian Water. The locker room is a, basically a sports bar. Um, I wanted to create a vibe, uh, an atmosphere for my people to come and you know have a great time, enjoy themselves, not have to worry about issues or you know like it's easily you can easily walk in here, feel at home, 
enjoy yourself, have some, you know, cheap drinks, cheap food. You know, I, I try to cater to my people as much as possible. So most definitely. That's mostly what the locker room is about. Most definitely. Appreciate so tell that. us how 1186 got integrated. Um, what happened? Tell me how you come across 1186. I actually was at the gym. You was at the gym? I was at the gym. Um, I saw, you know, a young lady drinking it. I asked for a bottle of water. I paid for it. Um, and I drank it, I was like, you know, whose water is this? And, you know, they told me it's a black owned business, they just getting started, you know, trying to push their uh, work. So I, um, I made a few phone calls about it. I couldn't really get in contact with anybody. And then um, she came by, and, you know, presented it to me. I said, Ms. oh, Holly, I mean, was Miss Holly kind of rough with you? No, no, no. Oh, she was nice? <laughs> Not at all. She was, look, look, she was professional? Okay. Was tell the truth, though. She didn't really, she, tell the truth. <laughs> she didn't really have to do much. Pretend she ain't out here. No, really, really. I need a report, man. <laughs> no, really, she didn't really have to do much. So when she told me about it, I was like, hey, I've been looking for y'all anyway. Man, I'm, I'm so, disappointed. You, you know, should have said something. Nah. There's something bad about her. I can't do it like that. Oh, okay, I can't okay, do okay. it like cool, that. Cool, cool, you know. We've been getting the same report from around town. Great professionalism. So she came in, offered you the water. So what happened then after that? After that, you know, we made our first order. And so we, tell me know. about the order process. So tell me how that happened. Um, she had one of her representatives come by. Okay. You know, so uh, Starlux came by. I think that was the person. Yeah, yeah, Starlux. I know you don't be here all the time. Yeah, I'm in and out. I'm yeah. in and out. So I had to talk to my manager as well. Okay. Um, you know, they came by and delivered us the water. And you know, how you like the right? delivery? I liked it. It was right when. It, matter of fact, uh, we just had an order from y'all maybe like a week or two ago, uh -huh. and I ordered it like the day of. Y'all came in a couple hours. So what the deal? What was that? Yeah. What is that? That like. Amazon, right? Yeah, I need that. Amazon I need Prime? That. I need that. So, yeah. so yeah, we did, you own that subscription. You know the people buying the water. They liking the water. What the customers saying about the water? Man, they like it. And a lot of the customers already know about y'all as well. So they like, no, you well, know, they appreciate y'all messing with the, you know, dealing with the black owned business. No, well. no, no. We ain't messing. We ain't dealing. I'm talking about, we keep your lights on. You keep our lights on. Right. You know, we got, that's the man thought we got to have, man. I'm t okay, listen, you can go buy any other brand. You can go buy a $3 case of water if you want to. Right. And sell it for $3. They gonna buy it. Right. But guess where that money going to? It's going to somebody else. It's it ain't going, going to your community. community. Right. right. It ain't going to your community. I'm right. not saying that just to say that, but every other, you know, race or whatever it may be, man, they support each other. Hey, gonna yeah. make it out. Can't lose. Can't don't make lose. it out. So I just want you, hey, I wanna tell you, thank you. And then also, I wanna bring in, I wanna bring in Miss Holly because, you know, come on over here. I wanna bring in Erica Renee of Stylers. Okay. Also, this is not just the delivery guys. I'm gonna show you how special they are. They not just the delivery guys. Okay, okay. This is my nephew and niece. Oh, that's love. You see what I'm saying? I was introduced, I was at this, this potential new customer and the owner of this potential customer said, oh, you own a water company? I got just the person that I want you to talk to. And they introduced me to this gentleman. Um, I'm gonna call him Bill for disclosure. They introduced me to this gentleman, Bill. And Bill owned a water bottling plant. And I'm, I'm not gonna say what state it was in, but he owned a water bottling plant. And he began to aggressively drill me. He started drilling me like I was going to boot camp. And some people just stood back and they was like, okay, here's two pit bulls in the rain fight. And it was very aggressive and he would ask me something and I would give him an answer. And when he asked me something, I'll ask him something. And we was going backwards and forth for a whole hour about who we were. And, and plus he had my water in his hand, 1186. And as he was talking, he was drinking it. And I said, all this talking, all this battling that you're doing, how did you like the water? He said, it's pretty good, but it's not better as my water. I said, why it's not better than your water? My, my water is a mineral water. I said, my water, I, that's two, two different type of water. Stop comparing. That is a mineral water. You don't drink two, eight bottles of mineral waters a day. You can't do it. Your body will reject it. You taste my water and you'll say, damn. So you'll tell me your water tastes better than uh, that? My water tastes better. You think so? It does, because you know what? You my water is almost, it's mineral water. I want to do one gallon. So I built this line okay. for one gallon. And then I realized after I'd done this, after three years building this The volume facility, went there for one gallon. Well, nobody want to buy one gallon. That's what I'm saying, the volume is not there. You talked to all the retailers, that's and why they all said, we we're, we're locked case, up on one gallon for the rest of our life. That, that's why we started with a 16.9 ounce. Yeah. Not a 20 ounce, not a one liter. A 16.9 ounce is the most famous ounce. Yeah, we, we my bottles were uh, 20 ounce. Our it's water too. <laughs> has the same property that they do bourbon with.
the reason why bourbon is called bourbon is because it's made with a, enough mineral on the limestone side to make that whiskey called bourbon. Bourbon is, is pronounced in Kentucky. And you can only make bourbon in Kentucky because you gotta use the water from Kentucky to get the limestone equivalent. Where I were to have that same limestone equivalent that water has in Kentucky, it's found in this little small town in central Alabama where I'm from was raised, where the land has been carved out by geological formation millions of years ago. Because of a glacier. Yes. Yeah. And that glacier melted and then caused the trillion gallons of water to be underneath there and compressed yes. over the years. And when I, when I did my research on all this, I, I trust me, I didn't just jump in this uh, willy-nilly. So well, were, were you we pouring out your water? What? I hope not. The only <laughs> chemical I have in my building what, what is going to how, how, I mean, it's my law, you have to disinfect it some way. How do you do it? Ozonization? Ozone. Ozone. Yeah, that's all I use. Yeah. yeah. Ozone. Ozone. We bring the water in. We bring the water in. We take it through a carbon filter. Yep. Move from a carbon filter to a UV What mill on the filter? Oh, 100? No, hold on. No, not a mill. No, we got a 5 and a 15. Okay. Because the water, the, the carbon filter, it polished the water. Yeah. Then it goes from yeah, the carbon yeah, filter to the UV light. It's gravel and charcoal. Yep. Go I built the, two of them in mine. Go to the UV light, and then we can take it through so another. So you do UV too? I use UV too. And, and those are the I use, hey, listen, I use the carbon filter. I use the UV light. I take it through a 1.5 screen and a 5 screen. Then I take it, when it come out of there, I take it through an ozone system. I got you. We, gener we got an ozone generator on site. Yep. Ozone in the water, we put about one, I mean, 0.100 mils of um, ozone in, between 0.100 and 0.300. Yep. Take it from there, it's immediately transferred over to the filler. Yep. And we cap it and automatically sterilize the water for at least two years. After 45 minutes of debate, the gentleman stood up and told me that I need to buy his water bottling plant. He said, you, you are capable of running my water bottling plant. I want to sell it to you. And not only that, I think you're gonna be successful beyond your imagination. He stood up, shook my hand, gave me a hug, and gave me his business card and said, when I call you, I want you to answer the phone. And also at the same time, he told me, he said, whatever you need, I've been doing this for 20 years, whatever you need from a document standpoint, presentation, safety files, whatever you need, FDA, health department, you reach out to me and I will provide because you are worthy. You worthy. You are a very smart gentleman. And I really wish you success. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you all. Well, you know what? Hey, hey, you I gave you my card. It's got my cell phone on it. Do you think I know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay. Uh, otherwise you wouldn't understand anything I was talking about. No, no, yeah. So I appreciate it. I'm glad because by you introducing him to me, I'll just tell him that God allows us to cross people at certain times in our life. And we got one or two choices. I believe that. One or two choices. We can say, that old guy don't know what you're talking about. And walk off. Take your card and walk off. Or you could have said, well, that your little young buck, he don't even know what he's talking about. He ain't going to never do nothing. Or we could say, what you just said. Hey, I got all type of literature. If you need any help, hey, give me a call. Look at what I have. And then I can say, and I'm going to hold on to that card. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a picture of it. You might, you might want to have some water closer than you used to. <laughs> yeah. I want, hey, I'm going to take a picture of it because I think he's a very good resource. That's it. A great resource. And maybe he has something that I need to buy. That's right. You never know. Not the whole plant, but maybe the well, five-gallon connection. There comes some type of debate concerning artesian water versus alkaline water. 1186 real artesian water has no competition or competitor. Let us tell you the difference between alkaline water and artesian water. Our CEO, Mr. Marquise, likes to say, man doesn't touch the water until you open the bottle. And that's kind of a true statement. Um, the water comes from the, well, uh, from the well to the to the pump, to the bottle, and then it's sealed. So that's one of the major things that uh, I think people does assume that it's alkaline water, but no, it's a premium artesian water. It's the best artesian water that you can get. There's no comparison at all. I can go ahead and tell you that 1186 is its own kind. Um, 1186 is different from all the other brands just because there's no additives, no chemicals, no preservatives. We don't do anything to alter the water. 
We test the well for a whole year, according to Alabama Department of Environmental Managed st Standards. We had to test the well, the well twice a week for 12 months with no failures, no failures in E. coli, no failures in turbidity, which is the clarity of the water. Put it in by the water up against 1186 and look how clear it is. It's called turbidity. We have no fog present in our water, period. This is a clean taste. I, I cannot explain it to you, but it's just a very sharp, clean taste. It has no aftertaste. It has no, it's, it's basically, I can take that water, drink it tonight, cap it up, open the bottle in the morning and it's gonna be the same. Um, it comes from a confined aquifer underground. So that's the biggest difference. And there's a lot of evidence out there that uh, doesn't always support the, the alkaline piece that I, I hear a lot about. But I, I, I've, I've done some research myself and alkaline diets are a thing for a lot of people. But there's not a lot, not enough evidence to support it as a, a current recommendation. But there are some subtle benefits from consuming foods that are more alkaline, consuming beverages that are more alkaline. But there is it's such a small percentage. Again, it's not something that you would be like a, a recommendation. I would see a patient in clinic and tell them that you need to go on an alkaline diet. That's not something that we were taught uh, and that we do on a regular basis. I can't compare something that is not comparable. Now, I'm not saying alkaline water is not good for you. Well, with 1186, like I told you, 1186 compete with itself because the average pH on 1186 is 6.9. So when you consume digest 1186 real artesian water, your liver, your liver tell your mind and your and your kidneys tell your brain, your liver tell your brain, what is this? Don't you buy nothing else? Don't you drink anything else? That's what's in 1186 that make the brain say, when you go in the store, you say, I want this. Our body strives to get a pH between about seven to 7.3 or so, somewhere in there. But I always say neutral, seven, because on the pH scale, you got zero to 14, seven being right down the middle. Our body's internal pH uh, tries to keep it at about seven. There are some organ systems that's gonna be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on what that body or organ function is. But for the most part, Keeping it at seven provides what we call in the medical profession, homeostasis, which is basically a nice, neutral functioning environment that allows the body to work at its peak performance. Being at 1186 is right there on the neutral scale, makes it easy for the body to consume and utilize it for the hydration uh, component that is needed for the cells to, again, function at a high level. With artesian water, there's nothing to break down because there's nothing that's being processed. You know, anything that's processed we know as uh, food culture is going on that everybody's being organic. And I tell people all the time, you know, maybe that's the reason why our grandparents live such a long life because they were organic without a title because they had to grow everything and it came from the earth. This water comes from the earth. When you do with alkaline water, you know, you don't really know the source. It could be from a spring, it could be from Houston tap water, long as they have that alkaline machine to filter it and get it up to that alkaline level, it's alkaline water. So you really, you don't really know the good source. With 1186, you know it's coming from a Tuckerville, Alabama. It's coming from a well, and it's coming from a source that's been there for decades. It's been there before, before me, you, before anybody that was on it. It's, it's God water. We don't treat the water. There's nothing to be treated, but this is what the water goes to. It goes into a, a 1500 gallon holding tank that we steadily fill up. It goes through a carbon filter, which by FDA and AD, uh, ADM standards, we must polish the water in case something comes from the well. After it comes from that carbon filter, we go through a UV light. If there's anything that's in the water, it kills it from a bacterial standpoint. After it leaves the UV light, we take it through a one micron and a five micron screen. That is all extra. We don't have to do that. Here's another extra step that we do. We take and we ozone the water on site. We generate our own ozone. What ozone does for the water is it disinfects the water. It gives the same O3 smell 
that when lightning strike, lightning strike is is split an O2 atom and make O3. We generate that in our facility to disinfect the bottle, <clears throat> disinfect the water, not only disinfect the water, but uh, give that water a life a life shelf space of two years, no matter what it goes through. So a lot of that stuff that you see out there about alkaline uh, water, alkaline dyes, this, that, and the other, there's not evidence-based. I believe in science and I believe in the evidence and I've done the research. There's not a lot of research to support um, the alkaline uh, diet, the alkaline lifestyle. Although people speak about it, there are a lot of platforms on Facebook, Instagram, this, that, and the other. There's not a lot of evidence in the science. There's still evidence that needs to be uh, discovered and information that needs to be reviewed to determine if this is, can be a mainstream recommendation. And right now, that's not a mainstream recommendation. And most of the people giving those main those are recommendations, not always health experts. Well, they don't always work in health. Once they start drinking levonated six water because it doesn't have those impurities, it don't have all those metals, it don't have all those chemicals, it's not part of reverse osmosis activity, it's not part of no purification activity, it's not part of no man-made, I think it's supposed to taste like this, and adding all these different minerals, it's not a part of that regiment. Everyone is beginning to say, hey, I believe I can drink eight bottles of water a day. It's easy. You know, we get reports where people say, I feel better because I'm actually getting more water in my system. I've had several patients tell me that their skin is better. They feel like their mentation, their mental status is better. They feel like they're more alert. Uh, I've heard patients say that they feel like it has worked their GI system better, their kidney function is, is better. And, and surprisingly, some patients that were taking, were drinking the alkaline products noticed that their urine, when they switched over to something, 1186 or something similar, they noticed that their urine was more clear. If your urine looks very dark, like tea or, or strong lemonade or something, yeah, you haven't hydrated well. And again, most people don't know this, but you need to drink from, for, from an adequate hydration standpoint. Half of your body weight in ounces needs to be consumed every day unless you have a kidney problem or a heart failure problem where you might have some restrictions on the amount of fluid you can drink. And most people don't drink that. Most people don't drink half their body weight in ounces per day. And that's just to be considered adequately hydrated at a minimum level. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've been drinking a lot of soda, you start drinking lemonated seed, you better find you a bathroom because it's gonna flush you out. It's gonna flush you out. If you've been drinking some high alkalinity water, if you've been drinking a lot of alcohol, guess what? 1186 is gonna flush you out because guess what? 6.9 pH is gonna run right through your body and it's gonna help them kidneys get rid of all of them impurities that's in there. But for certain people, it could, it could work. But if you can keep it neutral, because of the way our maker made our body, if you put something acidic in, your body is gonna go through the necessary process, your kidneys and your lungs and your GI tract, to make it more neutral. And if you put something in your body that's more alkaline, which again is higher on the scale, your body is gonna, the kidneys and your lungs and your GI tract is gonna do what it can do to convert that to as much of a neutral scale as it possibly can. So given that 1186 is right there neutral, there are not many extra processes that need to take place to consume uh, 1186 and at a cellular level for it to work and have the body working at its peak performance. So. That alone right there is a selling point for anyone that if you're aware of what the pH scale is and you hear that, you be like, okay, yeah, this is a no-brainer. This is a great water, so let me try it. When, when you look at the pH scale and people start telling you about alkaline versus acidic, you will know real quick what they really know about the product they're telling you about because some people don't even understand the pH scale. Okay, anything zero to seven, or zero, anything less than seven down to zero is gonna be acidic. And the closer you get to zero, the more acid-like it is going to be. Anything right at seven is neutral, okay? And anything above seven to 14, and the closer you go to four, the higher you go to 14 is gonna be more alkaline, okay? 1186 is 6.9, right there at seven. So again, it's right, it's, it's neutral, a very neutral product. So when you think about 
the different ends of the spectrum and how you can keep it to be more neutral or get it to be more neutral. The closer you can get to being neutral, the better, again, it's going to be overall for your bodily functions, for your overall health, and the more likelihood you're going to consume that beverage on a more consistent basis. Because again, the taste, the taste as well, because at, uh, acidic beverage is going to have a different taste versus a, a high alkaline beverage is going to have a different taste. Whereas it's neutral, it's going to be palatable. People that never drink water to drink water. I'm talking about <clears throat> the younger crowd, that four-year-old or 12 year old, they give you the truth. Mama ain't drinking no water, I want my juice. We have so many reports of children drinking a whole bottle of 1186 and won't drink anything else. We get complaints, you wouldn't believe this. Our customer service team get complaints about 1186 is now a new bill in their house per month. It's a bill. We buying a hundred dollars of awards a month. What is going on? And my passion has been men's health, and um, I've seen a lot of people that look like me that have died prematurely from conditions we could do something about. And a lot of it was because of lack of knowledge, and then um, and just misunderstanding of the information that was being shared. And I felt like I was in a position to uh, share that information uh, as authentic as I possibly could and relate to people because I live those the same life. Uh, that I could reach them and get them to understand it on a level that it makes sense. Bar 5015, now just a pile of debris after a blast leveled part of the building. Several businesses and homes nearby were also damaged. HFT says the fire was intentionally set. Now they're looking for an arsonist. Jason Miles at the scene off Alameda Road, where the cleanup continues more than 12 hours later. I'm told the bar here only opened a couple of months ago after an extensive renovation. It was destroyed in an instant. Bar 5015 is a popular venue in Houston, Texas. And this establishment has a very interesting story behind its popularity. I am glad 1186 Real Artesian Water is a part of this story. Hey guys, once again, we're here at Bar 5015, and I want to talk about this wall. This wall is very important in Bar 5015 history. Um, it was a tragedy. It was a tragedy that happened uh, back in 2020, 2019, I forgot what the year was, but Bar 5015 was a bustling, it's still a bustling spot and we was a part of their community as well. You can see there's 1186 being served. There's 1186 being served. And we was heavily involved, we're still heavily involved in, in, in Bar 5015. But during that time, um, early last year, there was a terrorist act on this, on this facility. Someone came in, um, doubts, drowned the place with gasoline and they didn't burn it. There was so much gasoline in this uh, facility that it blew it apart. You can see the pictures, pictures on the street of that actual night. It blew the building apart. It blew it apart. Here's the deck where they have it now. This is the old deck. It blew it apart. It didn't even burn it. It was like a time bomb, they said. Um, all the inside, all the everything that they had, it blew it apart. You can see the picture down here at the bottom. This is the night that it happened. Um, it looked like, you know, rescue workers, they coming in to secure the scene. Steve Rogers, the mighty Steve Rogers being who he is. Man, I'm talking about, it's been a pleasure to work with him, his professionalism. Um, he came back stronger. And one of the biggest thing he did, one of his first promotion was he did a Juneteenth. And what a lot of people probably missed on the Juneteenth was this. 1186 was a sponsor. Juneteenth, they had Emancipation Park right here. They had a bike ride to support the rebuild and everybody, the whole community came out, showed love to Bar 5015. You can see, here it is, they rebuilding. I'm talking about, it's been an awesome experience to be a part of this. You can see, 1186, 1186. I'm talking about, again, 1186 in the pictures. Again, Mr. Rogers, they doing the bike run, 1186. And man, I'm telling you, we have been 
beyond blessed to have people to stand behind us of this magnitude. We're talking about professionalism on a whole nother level. For us to be a part of an organization like this and a man of the city that, that made things happen. I can't say thank you enough to Bar 5015 and hey, we behind them 100%. So, just wanted you all to put that nugget in your um, knowledge for you guys because this is real. We'll holler at you later. our Houston visit, we had the glorious opportunity to take part in the monthly bike run at Bar 5015, which is owned by Steve Rogers. Our sponsorship with Mr. Rogers is one of our accolades that we can hold to within the city of Houston as community involvement. Bar 5015, uh, that we have a great sponsorship with them. We come out every last Saturday of the month, but we support uh, and keep the bike riders hydrated with 1186. It's a little cloudy right now today, but hey, we're here to bring that sunshine from 1186. So come and follow us on our day journey up right here at Bar 5015 with Steve Rogers and 1186. about this water okay tell me this water is completely completely there you go completely all natural artesian water ultra premium quality this is on the same level as uh, a it's not alkaline it's not alkaline at all okay. listen we got medical over here nurse practitioner we got rn director let me tell you I'm, I'm gonna repeat what they told me and what the doctor told me as well. your body and your gi system i don't care what you drink look up um, you can drink milk, you can drink an apple sample. Your GI system gonna automatic try to turn that liquid back to 6.8 to 7.2. So if you drink something acidic, it's gonna try to take it up to 6.8. If you drink something too alkaline, it's gonna try to drink, bring back down to 7.2. So with doing that, your body is working real hard. Your liver is working to try to filter out that alcohol. And most of the time we drink too much alcohol that our liver cannot filter out. That's why we become intoxicated. Same way on the other end. On the other end, if you're drinking too much alkaline, I'm not saying it's not good for you, but if you're drinking too much, your body is working. So guess what? In order for your body to, to take that liquid and put it into your bloodstream, it had to be between 6.8 and 7.2. Very good. So you see why you drunk that so fast? Your liver and your kidney said, thank you. I ain't got to do anything. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. That's good. So that's why it's so important that this water come in at a 6.9 average. Okay. Because your body does not have to work and your body is being hydrated extremely quickly. Okay. And the bloodstream is going in on it. We bought it at the source. This is a domesticated water. This does not. When you say domesticated. What does that mean to me? Domesticated means it's, it's bottled in the state. Good. Most of your most of your premium artesian water comes from Ireland, comes from you know France, comes from Norway, comes from Switzerland. This right here comes from Alabama, comes from the United States. Beautiful. So now let me ask you a question. Uh, is there any consideration of making this in glass bottles? Because you know they say plastic is not good for us that contain liquids and, and, and drinks. So that's a good question too. All right, so this bottle right here is BPA free as well. Okay. BPA free means that it doesn't have the chemical that will trans. See how I'm pulling them in? I'm oh yeah, yeah. Place. It doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> have the chemical to transmit any type of cancer Beautiful. or disease or anything like that. But also, in order for us to do the PET, this right here is a high grade PET. 18.5 grams and also it's a tinted blue we tinted blue out what this, is that? What is that? this right here is the beginning of the bottle this is a preform we blow our own bottle so we do everything in the house and we use a tinted blue so that it can help reflect the sun if you want to leave it in your car or you get direct okay, sunlight so, the okay, so okay. listen it's gonna have a longer life shelf it's gonna be there for it so you're taking all of it into consideration we use no chemicals we absolutely use 
no chemical, no additive, no preservative. And can you validate that? Right. Can you validate yes, that? Yes, it can was. you validate yes, it was a smooth was a refreshing taste? So these are not lies. These I, are not you're absolutely these are facts. Correct. I these are facts. Taste tester walked off the street. Yes, I believe. A you. taste tester that walked off the street walked right. right into the, the belly of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> well, what yes, We didn't know anything about distributing water. Again, I didn't know anything, but here it is. We had some great partners in Alabama. Those partners, they believed in us, and those partners was Budweiser. Listen, Budweiser distribute our water in Alabama. We are, we are authorized through 13 Budweiser houses throughout the state of Alabama. That gave us solidification. That gave us value. Budweiser believed in us. With that being said, we are over, we are located in over 500 locations within Alabama. With that being said, guess what? Other neighboring states, other metropolitan cities start taking a notice to it. Our largest influence now is the state of Texas. And within the state of Texas, we have been authorized and accommodated by the mighty HEB. HEB is one of the major grocery stores in the state of Texas, and they rival anybody in the state of Texas. And with that being said, they gave us an opportunity. Oh my goodness. What? Look what H-E-B then put up in the stores. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Stay, stay delicious. Look what H-E-B just put up in their stores. Oh my Catalyst retailer for 1186 Real Artesian Water in the city of Houston is none other than the famous HEB grocery store. HEB has taken 1186 Real Artesian Water to a whole new plateau. HEB has included 1186 Real Artesian Water as part of Be The Change initiative, which highlights black brands during the month of February which is also Black History Month. It high, we watch it fly, baby. What? That's what it's about. There we go. You heard that he yeah. stack it high and he watch it fly. Yes, sir. That's no. what I'm talking about. He stacked 1186 high and watch it fly. Does it move that fast? Absolutely, it does. Yeah, we. I mean, we have over you know 40,000 transactions a week, so we have you know over 100,000 customers coming in through here. So it's it's hard to keep it in stock, but. Luckily, we get a truck every single day, so we can just bring in a couple pallets every day and, and take care of our customers. Wow. So. at the house and my five-year-old I wouldn't think that he would know about water uh -huh. he goes straight to that water every time because it's 
the best. It is. It really is. It's the best. We keep them on our, we keep them on their toes in here because we always asking for the water. Keep them on their toes. That's what I'm talking about. We and the manager said it resonates with everybody in here. Mm -hmm. Well, the water is doing great here at McGregor Market, and we are just honored to be the to have the torch to, from OST because <laughs> they started the yes, water yes. Um, to be able to help and, and provide this for the customers. So it's really been a pleasure to have it at the store. I want you to tell me why. I know you don't drink water. Okay. You just say, ah, I don't drink water, but tell us why you're buying the water. Um, I'm really not a water drinker, but my mom sent me in here and she, she had been talking about this water, so she sent me in here to purchase this water. I'm not, I didn't, she told me that it was, you know, black owned, you know, made or whatever. So we're going to see what it's about. Oh, we're going to see what it's about. So. <laughs> If it meets your expectations. We will buy more. Look, it's readily available. I'll be honest, I bought it for my coworkers' mm -hmm. meetings. It doesn't taste like any other water. Cause I'm not, I tell them, I'm not a water drinker. Mm -hmm. But this one, the water. Thank you for your support. I, I love it. I mean, Continue to advocate for it. Oh, yeah, we love it. It goes down. Yes, you gotta get a picture. It goes down. This is not your average water. This is not your average water. And you can compare it with whomever. I'm not gonna name drop, but you can pick one. I dare you, take a bottle of 1186 and it will measure up to the best of them. Some of the big names out there, they got big marketing budgets and advertising. We don't have to do all of that because our story speaks for itself and our leader speaks for itself. I see 1186 being a, a worldwide brand. I see us going all over the United States. Um, right now we are the official state water for um, Alabama. I see us being a big brand, a big company, growing very rapidly. But again, it is a great product um, and it's a quality product and it's very refreshing. And it's right there on the middle of the scale that is ideal for consumption. With that said, the only thing limiting is gonna be us. And I don't see us doing that. The reason why this water is taking off like wildfire because it's serving a purpose of revitalizing a small town, which has an economical growth issue. That's the reason why this water is taking off like wildfire. We are helping individuals have a better lifestyle. We are bringing pride back to a town that has been left in an ice age. I see for the future, I see a, a robust compound out here um, that's gonna revitalize this town um, get these people a, a well-paying job. I just see it bringing Otagaville back to life. You just see the vision. This is like Coca-Cola. When Coca-Cola started, where were they? They were in a pharmacy. It was an elixir for medicine. And people were paying five cents for it. And look where Coke is at, at now. Coke is a, like a legacy. And 1186 is gonna be a legacy. And the story, the foundation of the story is 1186. Here's 1186, here is a, here's an opportunity, here's a story of a company where someone heard the calling. We are creating a name for Otogoville. The land of good people, also the land of the best water. And I think entrepreneurs abroad need to understand this. Everybody needs to understand this. Your vision is not everybody's vision, okay? You're gonna meet strangers that are gonna support you more than your closest kin or family. You must understand this. Sometimes your vision can be so strong that it can run the closest of people away that is around you. You must accept this as an entrepreneur. You must accept that your dream is not everybody else's dream. Hey, listen, five years ago, people was laughing at us. From family members to enemies, they laughed at us. 
called me a fool, stupid, ignorant, thought he was smart. He went to the University of Alabama. He sure ain't using that sense. And now I see him at meetings where they ask me to be a guest speaker now. And they have to look at me. I look at them in the crowd, I tell the same story. And afterward, they had to come up and shake my hand and say, congratulations. 1186 will be around long after I'm gone. Long after I'm gone. It was here in nature long before I got here, but it's gonna be called 1186 long after I'm gone. And with saying that, 1186 will be a household name. It'll be a household brand. And generations beyond generation, beyond me, will remember this day that we had an interview how we laid the foundation for 1186. 1186 will be a global product. And who knows? It probably sends something to the space station as well. But I'm telling you, people are gonna talk about it. People are gonna hear the story. We're gonna travel the world together. We're gonna see the world together. And we're gonna see people drinking the water in different parts of the world here very shortly. And I guarantee you that. Thus said the Lord. <laughs>